bertanding di babak final IBC 2022. Oke, okay. Muhammad Aga dari PT Trikopi di Station 1 akan dinilai oleh Our Head Judge Caca, Technical Judge 1 Sifaraja, Technical Judge 2 Iwan, Sensory Judge Hi. Vito Adi, Hello, welcome. Hi, Nicholas, Sifa. Hi, Lydia, welcome. Hello, dan Vito. juga John Nick. Chandra. Hi. And Shadow Hello, Judge kita adalah Angelo. Hello, thank you so much. Oke, okay, uh, juri sudah menduduki kursi panas. Oke, okay, Aga, are you ready? Ya. Yeah. Ready. Judges, are you ready? Judges, okay. ready. Beri tepuk tangan yang meriah oleh untuk ready? peserta kita yang ketiga, Muhammad Aga dari PT Trikopi. Selamat bertanding. Alright. Um, can I get my music? Everybody comfortable? Great. I can see your smile underneath. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whew, let's do it. Time. Anybody want some great coffee? Yes. Great coffee is for everyone. So when I'm looking to the future and asking myself what's next, I often challenge the idea of linear journey to the best cup of coffee. And for me these days, the best cup of coffee is the one that is accessible so that we can continue to share the ideal, comforting coffee experience we all know and love to the new specialty customers for years to come. And through my exploration, I've kept coming back into the three pillars in coffee I believe lead to a more accessible industry. Well, as you can see, a potential, optimization, and value. So, judges today, I'll be serving you three drinks, and each drinks representing one of those pillars. I'll be also serving you two coffees, both are natural process coffee, and they are delicious. So now, let's begin with potential, which will be explored as the milk beverage. So the coffee I've chosen as the milk beverage today is coming from the region of West Java, located in Makarwangi area to be exact. This coffee is very interesting because it's Liberica species. Well, we know most Liberica we found has funky, earthy, and not really inspiring flavor. Well, I believe because of this species, it's a rarely processed in a specialty manner. But for me, this coffee is very special because it has low chlorogenic acids, which makes this coffee has low bitterness. So judges, the one I'm serving for you today, the perfect example of Liberica that has been through a better process. It's a natural process with controlled temperature. After the red pepper cherry were picked, sorted, it all then dried inside the drying house up to 25 days. This moment, the temperature were being controlled at around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, adjusting the air circulation, allowing the coffee dry evenly and avoid over fermentation. So this whole process improved the sweetness level of Liberica, while also keep develop the beautiful flavors of chocolate orange and also sweet almond. So in order to bring up its full potential into the cup, we decided to roast this coffee using a full radiation approach. We roast this coffee for 8 minutes and 30 seconds with 18% development time. 
And for the shot, I used the recipe of 22 grams in to 30 grams out. At approximately 30 second extraction time. This all combination of variables and recipe improve the sweetness level of this Liberica while also develop that beautiful flavors which in the old milk beverage you're about to taste a strawberry milk caramel and vanilla butter cookie So judges, after we evaluate the visual, please stir this milk beverage five times to incorporate the foam as well as the crema. So you can get even sweeter and creamier milk beverage. There you go, Fito. Enjoy. And for the milk, I'm using lactose-free milk as the base. This milk has been through a process that breaks down the lactose into the component of galactose and glucose. There you go, Nick. Enjoy. Which make this milk even sweeter. And for the texture, I'm using a milk fat. As you can see in the booklet in front of you, that I use a device called cream separator to help me skimming the milk and to cut the fat out of the milk. This cream separator helped me to add four more percent of milk fats. There you go, Lydia. Enjoy. Creates more viscosity and creamier milk beverage. So combining with Liberica, it's an absolute winner. I have to admit that this is the most comfortable yet unique milk beverage I've ever tasted. And I believe the potential of Liberica is fully realized here. Enjoy, guys. I'll be back with the next course. So you guys ready for the next course? Sweet. The next course is gonna be your espresso. And for me, drinking an espresso is always an experience. And I find it to be an honest medium where we can explore the full flavor potential of coffee, which leads to the next pillar of accessibility, optimization. So judges, The coffee you have chosen as your espresso course today is coming from the new coffee growing area in Sidama Bensa region, located in Hamasho village, Ethiopia. But unlike other Ethiopian coffee, this one is a single variety called 74158, which is hybrid between Kurume and also Dega. Both are Ethiopian lean rice varietal, which is known as some of the highest quality coffee varietal in Ethiopia, that leads giving this coffee an amazing fruit candy flavor. This coffee is a natural process. Dried under the sun for 15 to 20 days. And I'm extracting this with a ratio or the recipe of 22 grams in to 40 grams out. So when I serve you espresso, I would like you to evaluate the crema, but please hold off before tasting, as I'll be guiding you on how to best enjoy this espresso using what I call experience cup I designed myself for you today. So the purpose of this cup is to fully optimize and enjoy this espresso using um, two different rims, as you can see, allowing the espresso unlock all the flavors so for your first sip please drink it from the thicker side of the rim which give you more sweetness 
and also text. That also helps you to evaluate the taste experience and also a flavor. So for a second sip, please drink it from the other side of the rim. Ever. So for the flavor notes, please write it down. You're gonna get strawberry, pineapple, peach, and also sweet chocolate. Taste experience, up front, it's medium acidity, vibrant acidity, medium sweetness, medium to bitterness. And for the tactile, it's to be medium body, juicy texture, and sweet chocolate finish. And now, please enjoy the espresso stir for a few times, and I'll be back. Thank you. There you go, Fito. There you go, Nick. There you go, Lydia. There you go, John. All right. How's the espresso? Did you like it? Great. So now let's move on to the signature drink, which will bring back together both of the coffee I've served you today and culminate in our exploration of accessibility, that great signature coffee for everyone. And the um, signature drink have been my kind of exploration in the past few years, which leads to the final pillar of accessibility, value. So today's recipe is already in the booklet in front of you. Could you please flip over? Let me help. All right. Now let's go through this together, starting with the chilled espresso of Ethiopian Hamasho. I made earlier using the same recipe as your espresso. Second ingredients is gonna be interesting because I'm inspired by the pillar of stability and also I wanted to bring back that beautiful Libelica flavor when I first tried this coffee. I made a non-alcoholic coffee syrup by rejuvenating the leftover ground coffee of Liberica. Traditionally ingredients, discarded ingredients, they turn into the value. I made this Using 100 grams of leftover ground coffee, added uh, 50 ml of balsamic vinegar, and then 100 grams of roasted almond. I mix all the ingredients with a sufi for six hours with a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. But for now, we don't need to wait for six hours. I've already prepared the final ingredients. Adding 10 ml into the signature drink will create more layer of flavor, which will remind you back to the caramel flavors, the one that you've tasted on the beverage. So, the coffee I've served you today has a really nice sweetness, and it's coming from elevation and also environments. So to represent that, to represent that sweetness, I have this mango cordial. Made by using 100 grams of fresh mango, 100 grams of water, 50 grams of sugar, rosemary, and salt. So this ingredient has a really nice tropical fruit flavors, which in 30 ml into the signature drink will create the pineapple flavors. And amazing. And the complexity of the coffee coming from the processing methods. To represent that complexity, I have this non-alcoholic distilled botanical made by distilling botanicals, spices, orange, and also grapefruit. This ingredient has a really nice citrus flavors. And the herbaceous flavors of these ingredients will add more complexity, which will remind you of botanical rosemary later on. So, for the texture and sweetness, 10 ml of coconut nectar. This made from the safflower of coconut trees. I'm going to shake all the ingredients together to smoothen the texture and I'm serving you at the perfect temperatures. Sorry. All right. For the flavor notes, you will get the pineapple, botanical rosemary, honey, and a sweet chocolate.
Sweet. All right, judges, if you will, please wait to drink until I call time and take a look at the booklet in front of you for the few following steps on how to best enjoy this nectar drink. Or let me clean up my station. And I'll be adding an aromatics of rosemary, which will give you multi-sensor experience and also elevate that herbaceous flavors. So judges, thank you so much for being here. Through potential, optimization, and value, I believe we can create a more accessibility industry together because for me, great coffee is for everyone. That's my time. Yay! Aga, sini aga. Kakak aga. Sini, sini. Sini, sayang. Titas. Gimana? Lega? Woo! Woo! Seru, seru. Dari tadi bu bu mulu udah kayak musisi deh. Habis <laughs> <laughs> kenapa pada sepi banget ya? Karena mereka terpana, guys. Oh.